Buddy, you ain't seen nothing yet. You should go back to whatever hole you crawled out of in New York. There ain't no room for you in Chicago. See, that's where you're wrong. There's plenty of room here. Just have to get rid of the dead weight. Calm down. If this is really how you want to do things, then we'll settle it here. Just remember, I tried to be nice. You got a death wish, O'Neill? How about we make it come true? game you need to be the last one standing take ronnie out and his safe house and precinct are all you by the way if you get an enemy into a bleeding out state it's worth putting them out of their misery perform a brutal execution and you'll gain the bloodlust status effect which immediately gives you extra health and heals you slowly over time Finished.
Oh no!
Got it. We did it. Don't forget it. When you take over a precinct, you have four options available. Occupy lets you take over a precinct with all rackets in working order. Loot and Occupy still takes over the precinct, but you'll wreck some rackets in the process. The Sack and Raise options won't transfer ownership to you. Sack wrecks the place for the faction that owns it. This is the precinct screen. You can get a good look at the state of your precinct from here. Looks like at the top, you can see how many racket slots this precinct can hold. There are four racket types. Speakeasies, breweries, brothels, and casinos. 
Speakeasies can't function without alcohol, but they've got a big capacity for customers. Breweries make the alcohol that runs your empire, so make sure you've got enough of them. Keep an eye on your police activity, because the cops love shutting breweries down. Brothels may not be your big earners, but they don't need much alcohol to function, and they increase your customer cap in the precinct. Casinos have variable income, depending on how many big winners you get. They'll also draw more customers to the precinct. Striking a balance between your rackets is key to making sure you can support all those thirsty customers. Equipping available racket slots in your precinct provides you with enforcements if your safe house or depot is attacked. No one else can build up in your precinct while you control it, but there's always a chance that you can be attacked. You can see how much and what type of alcohol your precinct is consuming on the left side of the screen. The default for alcohol is to serve your best booze available, but you can change that here. Upgrade your bro You've also... Keep taking precincts and select a racket to see what kind of upgrade. For most rackets, you've got four. the information. Close the precinct screen when you're ready to continue. Congratulations! You've got your first safe house. Defend it at all costs. Your safe house gives you both defensive and offensive benefits. Take adjacent precincts to create depots and a supply line back to your safe house. Keep your supply line intact. Like everything else, your safe house needs security. Right now, you'll need to do the legwork, but eventually, you'll get an underboss to do your bidding while you command things from here. So, what now? Well, that's up to you, boss. You've got the tools to take over this city. How you do it is up to you. You've got a precinct under your control, but it's in rough shape. Clean it up, kick those thugs out, and you'll be well on your way. Good luck, Kingpin.
This is the Black Book. From here, you can see which gangsters are available for hire, their relationships, their... Okay, let's get to work. <laughs> That's swell. You got it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Gotcha, huh? 
Gotcha. You got it. I'm on it. Gotcha. You got it. You got it. I'm going. Well, what do you want? Gotcha. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. And don't you forget it. I'm on it. Gotcha.